Hey everybody, it's Tia Deshay. Today is Tuesday, March 15th, 2022. It is 2.10 p.m. And this is the 40-Day Prosperity Plan Demonstration brought to you by Sela Leadership Academy for Creative and Intuitive Studies, LLC, an educational component of Tia Deshay, LLC. This video presentation is meant to serve as a supplement, not a substitute for the Abundance Book by John Randolph Price. You are encouraged to purchase this book so that you can read its contents explicitly and in detail and in details that are not covered in this presentation. Agenda. We, going, we are going to read our protection prayer, do our meditation, our, read our prosperity checklist, statement of principle, gratitude, and resources. Protection prayer by James Freeman. The light of God surrounds me. The love of God enfolds me. The power of God protects me. The presence of God watches over me. The mind of God guides me. The life of God flows through me. The laws of God direct me. The power of God abides within me. The joy of God uplifts me. The strength of God renews me. The beauty of God inspires me. Wherever I am, God is. Let it be unto you and me as it was said and written. I say and amen. Meditation. What do I know of God? God is life. Life is omnipresent. All is alive. I see this in the wonders of nature. I see this in myself. I am alive because I am life. My life is God's life. My life is God. I feel my livingness within me. I feel God. My awareness of God is growing. God is love. I feel love in my heart and know that this is the very spirit of God flowing through my feeling nature. I cannot love without God. I love, therefore I am one with God. My understanding of God is growing. God is wisdom and intelligence. God is mind. And I sense the infinite knowingness of that mind within me. I think, I know, and that with which I think and know is God's mind and expression. My knowledge of God is growing. Where is God? God is where I am. God is what I am. I am an individualization of God and the spirit of God dwells within me as me. I am the light of the world. I turn within to the light and say, thou art the Christ, the spirit of the living God. You are my spirit, my soul, my body. When I look at thee, I see me, and I listen in the silence for the acknowledgement from within. I am now conscious of God, of my Christ self. I am the Christ of God, the truth of God, the self of God. Through this consciousness of the reality of me, I open the door to spirit. I draw into my mind and feeling nature the wholeness of spirit the allness of God, and my consciousness is filled with the light of truth. I now know that there is nothing that I could truly desire that is not at this very moment standing at the door of my consciousness, ready to appear in my life and affairs. I have only to be conscious of this truth, and every need is met, every problem solved, every question answered. My consciousness of God within is all I will ever need for all eternity. Here's the prosperity checklist. Remember, this is a process. Um, give yourself grace, give yourself time to transform. Some days, you know, you may answer yes to the majority of these questions, and some days you may not. The, the goal is to make this a lifestyle. So you are to take your time in this transformation process and journal your insights. 
remember you are to journal your insights. This will help um, you to compartmentalize or to separate or to make sense of different areas, different thoughts, different ideas, different moods, different emotions. This will also, journaling will also help you accelerate your transformation process. So here's the prosperity check, checklist. Is my primary interest in receipt in realizing the presence of God or is it in meeting a financial problem? Am I still concentrating on the effect, money, or am I focusing my attention on cause, spirit? Am I willing to take my stand now and prove God once and for all as my all-sufficiency? Have I devoted the necessary time to meditating on the spirit within as a source of my prosperity? Am I conscious of the inner presence as my abundance? Do I have the understanding that my consciousness of the presence is my supply? Am I trying to demonstrate money or develop a greater consciousness of abundance? Have I accepted the truth that the living presence within me is my all sufficiency and that the activity of this infinite mind is meeting my every need at this moment? Have I, ident have I identified myself with my all sufficient self so that I can say with, greater, with great conviction, I am abundance? Knowing that my consciousness of the indwelling presence is my supply, can I now affirm and believe the truth that I have abundance? Can I see myself fulfilled and enjoying lavish abundance in my life and affairs? Have I truly expressed a feeling of love for the visions of wholeness and completeness that I see in my visualizations? Do I intuitively feel that spirit has manifest as my all sufficiency even though the, re the results may still be invisible? Have I spoken the word it is done? Have I totally surrendered all my needs, desires, fears, and, con and concerns to the presence within? Have I expressed a deep sense of gratitude to the spirit within before my good comes forth into visible manifestation? Is my heart overflowing with thankfulness and joy the majority of my waking hours? Am I listening to the voice within for guidance and instructions regarding any action that I am to take in the outer world? Am I following through with that action? Have I totally forgiven everyone and everything in my consciousness? Am I practicing unconditional love with everyone in my life? Have I maintained a state of secrecy regarding the use of spiritual principles in the demonstration of my supply? Knowing the reality within all and the truth about all, can I see everyone on this planet as abundantly supplied with every good thing regardless of appearances? Do I desire for every, everyone else that which I desire for myself? Am I a joyful giver? Do I freely share my money on a regular basis, knowing that as I give, so shall I receive, pressed down and running over? Have I done all that I can do to improve my relationship with my children? In my personal relationship with my mate or love partner, do I care more about his or her feelings and welfare than I do my own? Am I working to overcome any problems related to my sex life? Am I involved in a meaningful activity for creative self-expression? Am I working on my life path to see myself as whole and complete in every area of my life? The more questions you have answered yes, the richer, the richer you are in mind and manifestation. Statement of Principle, Day 4. Through my consciousness of my God self, the Christ within, as my source, I draw into my mind and feeling nature the very substance of spirit. This substance is my supply. Thus, my consciousness of the presence of God within me is my supply. By reading statement of principle day four, what came to my mind was through my consciousness of my God self, the Christ within. The first thing that came to my mind was to start studying the life of Christ. Read the Gospels. The more you read the Gospels, the more you study about Christ when he was um, on this earth plane, according to Christian theology, 
the more you study that, the more empowered you will become because you will realize that, that very same person that existed that Christianity puts on a pedestal, so to speak, lives within you. You have the same ability and powers and capabilities as Christ. Christ, metaphysically, Christ represents God individualized as man in a metaphysical sense. In a metaphysical sense, uh, metaphys metaphys metaphysicians do, do not look at Christ physically as a physical person but as a representation of God as man in the earth and what and and that Christ shows us what we are capable of doing as God in the earth from a metaphysical perspective so when i look at this statement of principle day 4 i am reminded to study the gospels read the gospels see the, the works and the power of Christ expressed and know that that same power, creative expression is within you because God is within you. And that Christ never looked outside of himself. If you study the gospels, he never looked outside of himself. He knew that everything that he needed was within him. And he expressed that in various ways. He expressed that through healing. He expressed that through teaching, through wisdom, through parables, through miracles. Um, because he knew that he was an individualization of God in the earth. So statement of principle day four. Through my consciousness of my God self, the Christ within, as my source, I draw into my mind and feeling nature the very substance of spirit. The, this substance is my supply. Thus, my consciousness of the presence of God within me is my supply. Because Christ was conscious of the presence of God within him, that, that is what he tapped into when he performed his miracles. Whether it was miracles of healing, miracles of abundance, uh, miracles of prophecy. The way he was able to do all of those miracles was because he was conscious. He was aware, awake, and understood the presence of God within him. That was his supply. And he could tap into that supply to express the miracles that he performed on this earth plane. So once again, statement of principle, day four, through my consciousness of my God self, the Christ within, as my source, I draw into my mind and feeling nature the very substance of spirit. This substance is my supply, thus my consciousness of the presence of God within me is my supply. Gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It is with immense gratitude. Thank you for allowing Say La Leadership Academy for creative and intuitive studies and assisting you in your transformation. I do not take this lightly and I am very serious and focused with delivering this content and completing this assignment with you. Resources, if you would like to purchase or utilize any of my resources or services, you can go to my website at tiadeshay.com. You can download my app, Mirrored Moments, on iOS and Android. You can take my courses on Udemy under Reverend DeAndra Averhart. And you can purchase my books on Amazon by typing in Tia Deshay. Until tomorrow, be blessed.